are talking to a dynamic acting duo, a two-time Oscar-winning actress and a renowned stage and screen actor. Together they star in a new Broadway play called The Present. It's becoming one of the hottest tickets in town. Kate Blanchett and Richard Roxbra. Come on! <laughs> Where? They told us seven times and I didn't listen. Another person who didn't pay attention during the Okay. Yes, you do. Yes, you, do. Oh, wait, you sit in the middle. There you go. I think I got it right. Thank God for Fonzie. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fonzie, our stage manager, with whom we could not live without. Fonzie. And yesterday was Fonzie's 48th birthday, by the way. Yeah. You didn't have to give the age. That's so rude. Well, I like to bother him. Oh, it's kind of nice to know a man's age. It's always it like is nice. Age that you yeah. Know. And there's nothing wrong. Did I say your? I know your um Perfect. your Aussie rocks, bra. Yeah, incredible. Okay, we are incredible. all working on it. Thank yes, you. Best, it's, it's the best so it's so been in America. Really? Yeah. Honestly. Really? Yeah, yeah. Should I just drop the mic and leave? Was it yeah. that she accompanied it with jazz hands, or was <laughs> just the straight up pronunciation? Everything with jazz hands. You guys really. I I call Dan my work husband because we've worked together for a long time but we finish one another sentences don't we sometimes you just no, add a swear not. word at the end of whatever I, I just never, said I never finish it with that but you guys have such a good rapport you've worked together for the better part of two decades correct we we have really it feels like we it. finish one another swear words all the time <laughs> <laughs> really this yeah. is a morning show so we're not going to, to do any of that but um, Dan we have a game for okay yes yeah, so we have a game um, we're gonna ask you a couple of questions and we're gonna test your knowledge of your work Spouse, you ready for this? We've got some paddles right here. Here, Holy a guacamole. paddle for you. you it's <laughs> not oh, that kind of paddle. Oh, okay. Not that kind okay. of paddle. All right. So, oh, I see. So, who has? We we clear on the on the rules of this game? Yep. Mm. I think so. Okay. Yeah. It's like complicated, complicated, but I it think doesn't we matter. Can there, there's no penalty. <laughs> Sarah may tase you if you mess it up. Um, <laughs> who has the messiest dressing room? Oh. oh. Your, no, your dressing room is positively Spartan. No, no. I think you don't well, no, bring anything yeah, in. But that's, yeah, I just don't have anything in there. Well, so, that's clean. So then she definitely has the messier monastic. room. You're, you're monk-like. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm monastic <laughs> because I'm so messy. So I have to be. Oh, okay. Oh, you okay. are monk-like. You're in a You're right again. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's always right. Who's always that's right? A that's another question. Who's always right? <laughs> okay. Oh. That's easy. Easy. Yes. That's yeah. right. I was going to say, this like is how a marriage is happy, survives. Yeah, happy yeah. wife, happy life. If you yes. asked Dan and I, we would both say Dan is always right, correct? Uh, I would certainly say that. Okay, who's, who is the bigger prankster? <laughs> Definitely. Really? Yeah, you're a shocker. Yeah, probably. What's the worst thing you've done to her? To her? Yeah. Oh, I haven't done anything bad to you, have I, over time? No, but I mean, your character's pretty horrendous. Oh, yeah, the character's pretty bad. Richard's Let character, uh, Platonov, yeah. is going through a midlife crisis, and he doesn't buy the red Ferrari, but he sleeps with every woman who oh. walks his oh, way. Oh, wow. I'd prefer the Ferrari. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. If your husband buys a Ferrari, you're kind of, your marriage is yeah. likely to last. But the play, <laughs> this, this play, though, the present we're talking about, is essentially a, it's a birthday party. Uh, it, is, what, it is. But it sounds like a good time, but it turns but into something else. It's set on a 40th birthday mm -hmm. in Russia with a lot of alcohol, and it's like a terrible Thanksgiving lunch uh, where you've got all these people that you sort of love but you sort of hate, you don't get on with, and they're all going through midlife crises. Yeah. And it's all, yeah, and it's so, yeah, vodka a, fueled. And the, yes, <laughs> vodka it's fueled. very Russian feeling with a sort of Australian um, undertone. And yeah, I mean, it's a kind of it's recipe chaos. for, for, yeah, for disaster. anarchic disaster. Sound, sounds like a feel good play. <laughs> oh, look, it's very funny. It's actually hilariously funny. Someone else's yeah. midlife crisis is always very amusing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> actually, that's a quotable. Somebody else's midlife crisis. Yeah. That's so Great good. time. You'll be there one day. No, I am. I have already passed he's, um, it. Yes. Yeah, he's north of that. So. <laughs> now, you, it's, this is still a big deal. I mean, the, if all you've done, and we, we see you on the front row of the Oscars, it seems, every single year, and the history that you all have had just in this business. How big of a deal is it still to make a Broadway debut, to be on Broadway? This is opening in a couple of weeks just around the corner from Thanks us. for reminding us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Yeah. I look at, you know what's really exciting is it's from the Sydney Theatre Company, and it's an entire Australian cast. So there's a great ownership of the sure. material, and so it feels really special because not only Richard and I and have worked together for a long time, but all of us have worked together. Oh. So it feels particularly special. But 
Yeah, it's a very oh, unique it's fantastic. thing, yeah, Broadway. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it is a unique thing. It's a fantastic, re remarkable uh, feeling. And you know, when you're told about the history of the theatre that you're in, and mm. and the people who've been in there, from kind of Fred and Ginger to you know um, Philip Seymour Hoffman, I mean, it's you know, it's it's special. No yeah. pressure. It's great. No yeah. pressure. Yeah. If we can get to the theatre, because we're you know we're performing on New Year's Eve, oh, and we're gosh. you know, of course, we're right near. It's like elbowing. Oh, you know, gosh. I've got to get. I've got to make my curtain. But, I'm yeah. living on. 48th at the moment. I, I, I've just been saying I treat, my, treat myself like a kind of light vehicle when I get to work. I, would, I just walk on the roads because the crowds are so thick. It's That's great. So I just, I, I'm, hopefully I'm you're coming to see our show. Yeah. Sure they should together. be and this place will be like a Russian 40th birthday party on New Year's Eve. No oh, yeah. about it. Oh, thank you so much thank for you. joining Thank you guys. Thank you. for. Are you excited? Yes. Come on, guys. Okay, so first of all, we've got Nyla and Elena. Did I get that right? Yeah. Now, you guys have your own American Girls. Which ones are these? Melody. This, one, this one's Grace. I definitely knew that ahead of time, but you know I have a surprise over here. Are you guys ready to see this one? Yes. Okay. The moment we've all been waiting for. Here we go. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, can we do a drum roll? We're going to need more drums. Okay. This is so exciting. It's American Girls 2017 Girl of the Year. Meet Gabriella. The Gabriella collection will be available starting January 1st. Coming up, the hottest Hollywood. Why are. Really? You got. <laughs> okay, wait. We got to tell you about Gabriella first. American Girl's 15th Girl of the Year doll. She loves the arts, music, and painting especially, but she struggles with stuttering. So she's learned to express herself through dancing and poetry. In fact, her proudest moment was performing one of her own poems in front of a big audience without ma making a single mistake. Her dream is to use her talents to make a difference, and you girls can read all about Gabriella in her book series. But first, let me ask you guys, what do you think of her? I love this doll. Her clothes and the accessories that come with her are very cute. I would totally play with this. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it's funny you mention that because we may have a surprise for you guys. I'm guessing you'd all like Gabriella. Yeah. Okay. Help yourself. Come on down. Okay. No pushing. 